Alright, so question number six, we're being told to prove that tan inverse over half plus tan inverse of one over five plus tan inverse of one over eight is pi over four. So in this case, we actually have uh, three different parts adding themselves, but this is actually also an easy one. So the first step is we're going to let a to be equal tan inverse over half, which shall mean that tan of a is a half. Then we're going to let b to be tan inverse of one over five, which shall mean that tan of b is one over five. And then we're going to let c to be equal tan inverse of one of eight, which shall mean that c tan of c is one over eight. So now this then becomes a plus b plus c being equal to pi over. For so remember we are proving, but we first replaced uh, these values here with a, b, and c, as you can see right there. All right, so the next step shall be, I'm going to introduce tan to both sides as a way of solving this number. So we have tan a plus b plus c being equal to tan pi over 4. So now what I'm going to basically do now is I have to prove that tan of a plus b plus c shall give me tan pi over 4. So now let's focus on the left hand side. And then we know tan pi over 4 is actually equal to 1 because the same as tan of 45 which is 1. So I have to just basically prove that this shall actually give me 1 which is tan pi over for. So let's look at this left hand side. So now we can see that because there are three characters, I'm going to first group these two characters here. So I'm going to group the A and B. So I have A plus B and then plus C. So when I group these two characters and then I expand what I'll, when I expand and two compound angles, I'll end up having tan to bracket A plus B plus tan C over one minus bracket tan A plus B times tan of C. All right, so now next I can now expand these here. So now I can expand tan a plus b in both the numerator and the denominator. And then I'll have tan a plus b plus c being equal to tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b plus c tan c over 1 minus bracket tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b times tan c. Close that bracket. So now that we have this, I can now substitute in all the values. So whether it's tan of A, I'll put a half. Whether it's tan of B, I'll put 1 over 5. And whether it's tan of C, I put 1 over 8. So now basically what we're left with is to solve. So now from here, I can say that what I'll get at the top here is going to be 7 over 10. Then right here, this times this shall give me 1 over 10. And then also here, this shall give me sine of 1 over 10. And then this shall give me 1 over 10, as you can see right there. So now basically the next step is I can actually just solve this. So 1 minus 1 over 10 shall give me 9 over 10. And then the same thing basically here. I'll have 9 over 10 or so. Alright, so now the next step is I can see that 7 over 10 divided by 9 over 10 shall give me 7 over 9. Then plus this 1 over 8. And then right here, 7 over 10 divided by 9 over 10 shall give me 7 over 9. Then times this 1 over Eight. So now at the top, I can find the LCM and then solve that. So I'll end up having 65 over 72. Then right here, 7 over 9 times 1 over 8 shall give me 7 over 72. All right, so 1 minus 7 over 72 shall be 65 over 72, as you can see right here. So now these terms at the top and the bottom, the numerator and denominator are exactly identical. So that means when they divide each other, I'll end up having 1, of which we know that tan pi over 4 is actually one. So now we have tan a plus b plus c is equal to 1, which is basically the same as this. Now we can take this tan back to this side and I'll have a plus b plus c being equal to tan inverse of 1, of which we know tan inverse of 1 is pi over 4 or 45 degrees. So therefore, this is what we have. Now remember, the reason we're able to do this is because pi basically represents 180. 180 divided by 4 is 45. So now basically, when we substitute in the values of A, B, and C, we have tan inverse of a half plus tan inverse of 1 over 5 plus tan inverse of 1 over 8 is equal to pi over 4, and hence we've proved the number.